Mm. Okay, it's uh, nine, nine, ten, nine, fifteen or something. And it's a somewhat coolish day, overcast. Bright, but you know, overcast. Mm. And all I did yesterday was go to that baby shower. There were a lot of babies there. So it was, you know, genuine baby shower. But uh, that was all. My husband picked up the lottery tickets later on, so I didn't miss out on that. Not that I missed out on anything. I didn't win last night, so there you go. Julia has the spot. So I'm gonna do work today, which is what I do every Saturday morning. Every Saturday morning, we do work. Which is why I play the lottery, right? So I can stop doing that work on Saturday morning and I can sleep in. I mean, Julia came by this morning and woke me up at seven o'clock, so you know that was reasonable. But I would have liked to have had the chance to say, hey Julia, why don't you, you know, come to bed and we'll hang out here for another hour or two. But no. Instead we're hanging out here. Yeah, instead we're hanging out here. Which is okay too. So I've had breakfast. I've read my papers. Various newspapers. I didn't read them all. I read through my local paper and uh, then I read all the comics in all the papers. My local paper, the Kitchener paper. I don't actually um, read the Cambridge papers until lunch because they're sort of page turners. Not terribly thrilling, not terribly interesting. You can go back up there if you want. I mean, I just pulled your tail, that's all. It was nice to see everybody <clears throat> at the at the shower. Everybody that I used to work with. There were, they were so yeah, encouraging and supportive way back then. But I found the, uh, the environment to, um, I don't know, Why didn't I like it? Because I was new and I didn't know what I was doing. Oh, I see Tori here. Yeah, sitting right there. All the cats are in here. Um, I don't know. The students. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's 
Aunt Lewis paid more? <laughs> no, actually. Honest Dog Blank paid more, but had fewer hours. Now I remember. Yeah. The hours were too limited. If you wanted to work more, well, that's too bad. You could only work a certain number of hours every week. Fifteen. And uh, that just was not good enough. With Conestoga, with um, with St. Louis, I could get more hours. And still, they're 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 still the same way. They pay more, but they didn't have their hours. And uh, that just does not work. That doesn't work. So whatever. I just need for St. Louis to find me or find us a spot in the morning and in the afternoon. Because if enough students like the evening class. There's nothing in the mornings and afternoons I can I can handle more hours in the evening, more nights a week. Right? But I would rather work in the daytime and not work so much at night. So we'll have to wait and see what happens. We'll have to wait and see. And it's it's money. It's money, you know. St. Louis is not offering to pay more. And this place says, why don't you pay more? And it's going to be very limiting. I mean, they do use that place themselves. So we will have to remove everything before, you know, we go home every day. And the places where we can store things are limited again. And so, you know, all of our resources will be somewhere else. And if I don't have access to my stuff, and we had it so good. You saw the library, the, the resource room that we had. And it was an entire, you know, huge room. see what happens. I'll let you know. Not today though.